am at the base of uh, Mont Gerbiedjon in Ardèche, uh, which is the source of the Loire River. I prefer to have lunch here because it's sheltered and it looks like it's going to rain pretty soon. So that would have been nice to have uh, lunch up there, but uh, better be on the safe side. So it looks like there are different starts for the Loire River. This is one of them. It is tiny compared to the Loire later. I can't wait to rest. And Auvergne broke me. Uh, it was brutal. From what I understand, it's been uh, the same all over France. The weather has been terrible this beginning of summer. I'm going home today and there are some really sweet biggest mountains in front of me. That's probably Verkov already. Even if this isn't very high in elevation, you can see 13 counties from here, which I think is unique in France. Even though it's actually quite far away, we can see Mont Blanc from here, that's pretty cool. But 
that's where I'll be going in Vercors, Glandas. Valence is the place where I live the longest. I went to high school here and worked as a projectionist in a cinema for a few years. <laughs> Looks like I'm on the Tintin trail. It's been a bit of a rough morning today. Uh, I was pretty hungover when I woke up this morning. Uh, yesterday I stayed with my friends, Maëlys and Greg. Uh, Maëlys uh, was a friend I used to work with at the cinema you saw earlier in Valence, like 20 years ago. Yeah, we just had quite a few delicious Belgian beers. Uh, Maëlys was supposed to take me back to the trail just before 8 uh, but I went back to bed, I really wasn't feeling good and uh, woke up around 9, a couple of hours later and uh, Greg drove me back to the start of the trail and I was actually feeling much better Yesterday I basically just had a short day hiking from Valence to my friend's place and it was about like 20 kilometers Perfect after three days taking it easy, resting. Uh, that was really good. Being there for my uh, brother's birthday, seeing the family, going to the cinema, watching two movies, awesome movies. Uh, a new Paul Verhoeven movie and a new movie by Los Carax. Uh, so, Benedetta and Annette. Bit of a climb this morning, uh, definitely. I can feel that I'm approaching Vercors. I'll be joined by two friends for Vercors. Malvin, I met last year in Brittany on the GR34. And uh, Leo is a friend from high school 25 years ago. Wow. And should be an awesome section if the weather gets a bit better. We'll see. been raining all night but I have to get up because I actually plan a, a 50 kilometers day today so I can be in Saint Isier tomorrow and meet my friends maybe a bit of coffee will help oh. what a summer Oh. Oh. oh, time to pack and then have some fun in the rain. I 
it's not raining that much anymore. It's kind of uh, drizzling, which is uh, pretty good compared to what it was. <laughs> Uh, but the thing is, the terrain, I don't know if you can see, yep, right there. Uh, it's like super, super slippery rocks. So it's been a very, very slow morning. I'm doing like, I don't know, <laughs> one kilometer per hour kind of uh, speed. <laughs> so yeah, just don't want to get injured. So I'm taking it easy. So yeah, very slow going. So I hope I can make it in time uh, tomorrow in San Isier to meet my friends. Uh, hopefully it gets a bit better in the afternoon, so we'll see. I was supposed to get some food in uh, Tonton Royan for like five or six days because the next stop is uh, Chatillon d'Ivoire, which is a bit far. And the shop I was expecting wasn't there anymore. Instead, there was a tiny shop that was closed until 5 p.m. And that was around noon, so I didn't want to wait for like four or five hours, so I just kept going. And I'll uh, make a wheel detour uh, and go to Autran. There's a small shop there. And it's raining a lot again. Beautiful dog food. 